King James Bible, the book of Hosea, chapter 1. The word of the Lord that came unto Hosea, the son of Beeri, in the days of Uzziah, Jotham, Ahaz, and Hezekiah, kings of Judah, and in the days of Jeroboam, the son of jo Joash, king of Israel. The beginning of the word of the Lord by Hosea, and the Lord said to Hosea, Go, take unto thee a wife of whoredoms, and children of whoredoms, for the land hath committed great whoredom, departing from the Lord. So he went and took Gomer, the daughter of De Debalam, which conceived and bare him a son. And the Lord said unto him, Call him Jezreel, for yet a little while, and I will avenge the blood of Jezreel upon the house of Jehu, and will cause to cease the kingdom of the house of Israel. And it shall come to pass at that day that I will break the bow of Israel in the valley of Jezreel. And she conceived again and bare a daughter. And God said unto him, Call her name lo Ruhama, for I will no more have mercy upon the house of Israel, but I will utterly take them away. But I will have mercy upon the house of Judah, and will save them by the Lord their God, and will not save them by bow, nor so by sword, nor by battle, by horses, nor by horsemen. Now when she had weaned lo Ruma, she conceived and bare a son. Then said God, Call this... Call his name Lo-Ami, for ye are not my people, and I will not be your God. Yet the number of the children of Israel shall be as the sand of the sea, which cannot be measured nor numbered. And it shall come to pass that the place where it was said unto them, Ye are not my people, there it shall be said unto them, Ye are the sons of the living God. Then shall the children of Judah and the children of Israel be gathered together and appoint themselves one head, and he shall come up out of the land for the... For great shall be the day of Jezreel. Chapter 2 Say ye unto your brethren, Ami, and to your sisters, Ruhama, Plead with your mother, plead, for she is not my wife, neither am I her husband. Let her therefore put away her whoredoms out of her sight, and her adulteries from between her breasts. Lest I strip her naked, and set her as the day that she was born, and make her as a wilderness, and set her like a dry land, and slay her with thirst. And I will not have mercy upon her children, for they be the children of whoredoms. For their mother hath played the harlot. She that conceived them hath done so shamefully. For she said, I will go after my lovers, that give me my bread and my water, my wool and my flax, mine oil and my drink. Therefore, behold, I will hedge up the way with thorns, and make a wall, and she shall not find her paths. And she shall follow after her lovers, but she shall not overtake them. And she shall seek them, but shall not find them. And then shall she say, I will go and return to my first husband, for then it was better with me than now. For she did not know that I gave her corn and wine and oil and multiplied her silver and gold, which they prepared for Baal. Therefore will I return and take away my corn in the time thereof, and my wine in the season thereof, and I will recover my wool and my flax given to cover her nakedness. And, and now will I discover her lewdness in the sight of her lovers, and none shall deliver her out of mine hand. And I will cause all her mirth to cease her feast days, and her new moons and her sabbaths and all her solemn feasts. And I will destroy her vines and her fig trees, whereof she hath said, These are my rewards that my lovers have given me, and I will give them... And I will make them a forest, and the beasts of the field shall eat them. And I will visit upon her the days of Belim, where she is burned incense to them, and she decked herself with the earrings and her jewels, and she went after her lovers, and forgot me, saith the Lord. Therefore, behold, I will allure her, and bring her into the wilderness, and speak comfortably unto her. And I will give her vineyards from Hathens, and the valley of Ankor, Akor, for a door of hope, and she shall sing there, as in the days of her youth, as in the day when she came up out of the land of Egypt. And it shall be that day, saith the Lord, that thou shalt call me Ishi, and shalt call me no more Bali. For I will take away the names of Balim out of her mouth, and they shall no more be remembered after their name. And in that day I will make a covenant for them with the beasts of the field, and with the fowls of heaven, and with the creeping things of the ground. And I will... 
break the bow of the sword and the battle out of the earth and will make them lie down safely. And I will betroth thee with unto me forever. Yea, I will betroth thee unto me in righteousness and in judgment and in loving kindness and in mercies. I will even be betroth thee unto me in faithfulness and thou shalt know the Lord. And it shall come to pass in that day I will hear say this to the Lord, I will hear the heavens, and they shall hear the earth, and the earth shall hear the corn, and the wine, and the oil, and they shall hear Jezreel. And I will sow her unto me in the earth, and I will have mercy upon her that had not obtained mercy. And I will say to them which are not of my people, Thou art my people, and they will say, Thou art my God. Chapter 3 Then said the Lord unto me, Go, yet... Love a woman beloved of her friend, yet as an adulteress, according to the love of the Lord toward the children of Israel, who look to other gods and love flagons of wine. So I brought her to me for fifteen pieces of silver, and for a homer of barley, and a half a homer of barley. And I said unto her, Thou shalt by abide for me many days, and thou shalt not play the harlot, and thou shalt not be for another man, so will I also be for thee. For the children of Israel shall abide many days without a king, and without a prince, and without a sacrifice, and without an image, and without an ephod, and without teraphim. Afterwards shall the children of Israel return, and seek the Lord their God, and David their king, and, sh and shall fear the Lord and his goodness in the latter days. Chapter 4 Hear the words of the Lord, ye children of Israel. For the Lord hath a controversy with the inhabitants of the land, because there is no truth, nor mercy, nor knowledge of God in the land. By swearing and lying and killing and stealing and committing adultery, they break out and blood toucheth blood. Therefore shall the land mourn, and every one that dwelleth therein shall languish, with the beasts of the field and with the fowls of heaven. Yea, the fishes of the sea shall also be taken away. Yet let no man strive nor reprove another, for they... For thy people are as they that strive with a priest. Therefore shalt thou fall in the day, and the prophet also shall fall with thee in the night, and I will destroy thy mother. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge, because thou hast rejected knowledge, and I will also reject thee, that, that thou shalt be no priest to me, seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy God. I will also forget thy children. As they were increased, so they sinned against me. Therefore will I change their glory into shame. They eat up the sin of my people, and they set their heart on their iniquity. And they shall be like people like a priest. And I will punish them for their ways, and reward them for their doings. For they shall eat and not have enough. They shall commit whoredom, and shall not increase, because they have left off to take heed of the Lord. Whoredom and wine are new, and new wine take away the heart. My people ask counsel at their stocks, and their staff declareth unto them, for the spirit of whoredoms hath caused them to err, and they have gone whoring from under their God. They sacrifice upon the tops of the mountains, and burn incense upon the hills, under oaks and poplars and elms, because the shadow thereof is good. Therefore your daughters shall commit whoredom, and your spouses shall commit adultery. I will not punish your daughters when they commit whoredom, nor your spouses when they commit adultery, for themselves are separated with whores, and, sa and they sacrifice with harlots. Therefore the people that doth not understand shall fail. Through thou, Israel, play the harlot, yet let not Judah offend, and come not yet unto Gilgal, neither go up to beth Evan nor swear the Lord liveth. For Israel slideth back as a backsliding heifer. Now the Lord will feed them as a lamb in a large place. Ephraim is joined to idols. Let him alone. Their drink is sour. They have committed whoredom continually. Her rulers with shame do love give ye. The wind hath bound her up in her wings, and they shall be ashamed because of their sacrifices. Chapter 5 Hear ye this, O priests, and hearken ye, house of Israel, and give ye ear, O house of the king. For judgment is toward you, because ye have been a snare on Mizpah, and set spread upon Tabor. And the revolters are profound to make slaughter, and though I have been a rebuker of them all. 
I know Ephraim in Israel is not hid from me. For now, O Ephraim, thou committest whoredom, and Israel is defiled. They will not frame their doings to turn unto their God. For the spirit of whoredoms is in the midst of them, and they have not known the Lord. And the pride of Israel doth testify to his face. Therefore shall Israel and Ephraim fall in, in their iniquity. Judah also shall fall with them. They shall go with their flocks and with their herds to seek the Lord, but they shall not find him. He hath withdrawn himself from them. They have dealt treacherously against the Lord, for they have begotten strange children. Now shall a mouth, month devour them with their portions. Blow ye the cornet in Gibba, and the trumpet in Ramah. Cry aloud at beth Aven, after thee, O Benjamin. Ephraim shall be desolate in the day of rebuke. Among the tribes of Israel I have made known that which shall, shall surely be. The princes of Judy, Judah were like them that removed the bound. Therefore I will pour out my wrath upon them like water. Ephraim is oppressed and broken in judgment, because he willingly walked after the commandment. Therefore will I be unto Ephraim as a moth, and to the house of Judah as rottenness. When Ephraim saw his sickness, and Judah saw his wound, then went Ephraim to the Assyrian, and sent to King Jerob, yet could, not heal, he, yet could he not heal you, nor cure you of your wound. For I will be unto Ephraim as a lion, and as a young lion to the house of Judah. I, even I, will tear and go away, and I will take away, and none shall rescue him. I will go and return to my place, till they acknowledge their offense. I seek my and seek my face, and their affliction they will seek me early.